Welcome to Redefining Medicine, an intimate and personalized program that illustrates a different side of the practice of medicine. Our in-depth conversations will focus on the physicians and practitioners who are redefining medicine through their integrative, functional, and holistic approach to health and well-being. Welcome to our weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. We are so excited to welcome back Dr. Pamela Smith, a world-renowned pioneer and educator in anti-aging and functional regenerative medicine. With over 28 years of experience, the founder of the A4M Fellowship in Anti-Aging Regenerative and Functional Medicine and member of the A4M Scientific Planning Committee. Dr. Smith, thank you so much for being with us. Welcome. Thank you so much for the invitation. The past year and a half has been challenging for everyone. But now we're here in Anaheim at A4M's first in-person conference since the pandemic hit. How does it feel to be back in person and how is the conference going so far? Oh, the conference is going great and it's wonderful to actually be here with real live people. I can't believe how much I actually missed everybody. It's fabulous. Dr. Smith, you will be leading two presentations at the Bioidentical Hormone Replacement Therapy Symposium taking place the weekend of this episode's recording. For those who have not been able to attend in person, will you provide us with a brief preview on your topics and explain why these concerns are so important for clinicians to understand? Absolutely. Module one is a key, key component to life. It's all about hormones. And hormones are so important to maintain memory. It's not just about symptoms. There's many studies showing that hormones help with heart disease prevention and to lower cholesterol, blood sugar, blood pressure. So hormones are a key component. They really have to be able to do hormones well. It's not something that you can just learn in one day. And module one is a three-day conference where you will leave with the conference with the ability to know what hormones are important. We look at estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, cortisol, thyroid. We look at insulin. And the great thing about being part of module one in the fellowship is that you also have access to ask the professor. People always want to know, how do I have my questions answered in my practice after I leave here? We hold Ask the Professor once a month where you can literally be there live, or it's also taped, and have all of your questions answered after the conference as well. As a long-standing established expert in anti-aging and functional medicine, you've seen these fields advance and evolve quite a bit. What gaps in education and other roadblocks do you see keeping this approach from fully becoming the mainstream approach to medicine? It's really getting the word out. We have to get the public to understand that this medicine is available. It's available for most people now everywhere in the world. And that's what's so exciting because it is very different. I believe in traditional medicine. I'm a very traditionally trained ER doctor and worked in a level one trauma center for 20 years. But I was so excited to be at the very first A4M conference 30 years ago. And then I learned, oh my gosh, it's not just giving the patient a prescription. It's looking at the cause of the problem. And that's what I love about this kind of medicine. It is a customized, individualized, personalized approach for every patient. Yes, it is anti-aging. And yes, I am 67, and this is my natural color of hair. Anti-aging really does work. I still have full memory. I've been able to travel and speak in four continents in 2019 before COVID hit. We want our immune system to be intact. We don't want it to be over-functioning or under-functioning. There's so much that has to do even with immunity. I hope everybody decides to come to Las Vegas in December to attend the entire program. Whether you're coming to module one, module five, the general session, you're still gonna learn a lot about immunity because hormones have to do with immunity. Module five is a great area to really just put it all together. And of course, the general sessions are also going to look at the immune system as well. 
Hey there, listeners. It's your host of the weekly podcast, Redefining Medicine. I have a question for you. How much time do you spend ordering functional lab tests for your patients? Ordering from multiple lab companies for hundreds of patients can quickly turn into hours of admin time. But there's a new way to order lab tests that I'm excited to share with you. Rupa Health is a tool that lets you order 20 plus specialty labs in a single portal. You can order all tests you normally do from companies like Dutch, Vibrant, Genova, and Great Plains, and so many more. Imagine you're ordering a hormone panel for a patient that includes tests from three different labs. You have to log into three different websites to place separate orders, and then come back weeks later to check tracking number and download results. Rupa eliminates all of that by having all ordering, tracking, and results in a single place, and they also handle invoices, tracking shipments, automated follow-ups, personalized instructions for completing tests, and so much more. The best part about Rupa, it's free for all practitioners. Go to rupahealth.com, that's R-U-P-A health.com, to join a live demo or sign up to see how it works. Now let's get back to today's show. Final question. You look great and always seem to have an endless supply of energy. What do you do in your personal routine to stay vibrant and healthy? (laughs) Number one, I really do eat better than I used to. My personal problem has always been sugar. If you ask me my favorite dessert, it's pecan pie. And I would treat myself to donuts once a year on my birthday. This year when I turned 67, I finally did it. No donuts. So you have to really start with how you eat. I hate exercise. I know a lot of people get a real exhilaration from exercising. I don't get that. But at A4M, I've learned that exercising maintains memory. I don't want to lose my memory. So do I have an exercise routine? I do. Do I take bioidentical hormones? Yes, I have, and I have for 30 years. I started on progesterone when I was still cycling and then moved on to bias cream for my estrogen and then more recently keto DHEA and pregnanolone. It really, I I just can't say enough about hormones, but it's not only about hormones. You have to prevent heart disease. In module two, we do look at those things. When you ask me personally, I do have a high homocysteine. I inherited my dad's gene pool. I have high triglycerides. In module two from Dr. Houston and the other professors, I really learned how to lower my homocysteine. My triglycerides are totally normal. Between hormones and the nutrients, it's wonderful. Module three, when we look at neurological diseases and psychiatry, I did have renounced disease. It is a neurological autoimmune disease. I don't have it anymore. You can't cure everybody, but if you actually follow the things, like in module four, about gut health. Is it more important to have gut health be important, or is it more important to have your hormones balanced? They're equally important. And someone like me will never have a perfect gut. When I delivered my first child at the age of 25, I had a postpartum complication, and I ended up in the ICU for 31 days with an NG tube for 30 days. They truly were not sure I was going to come home. I had a volvulus, infarcted off six feet of my ileum. If I can fix my gut, and yes, it is healthy, if I can fix my gut, you can too. So we want you to come join us for module four as well. So when people ask me, what is my personal routine? I just follow everything I've learned in the fellowship, modules one through eight. And I really do try and do all those. That's why I have a lot of energy. I take those nutrients, the the nutritional depletions that are caused by my estrogen, for example, the B vitamin depletions, I do take B vitamins and other nutrients. So really hormones, exercise, eating better, being nutritionally sound with a healthy gut. You learn all of that here at A4M. Thank you so much for spending your time with us, Dr. Smith. Thank you so much for the opportunity. It truly is greatly appreciated.